हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज सेकेंड सेशन ऑन द डेट फंक्शन इन अर्लियर सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ डेट फंक्शन डेट एंड वी हैव कवर्ड डेट ई डेट एंड ई ओ मंथ फंक्शन विथ डे मंथ ईयर फंक्शन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर रेस्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन फ्रॉम द डेट इट सेल्फ सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ नेटवर्क डेज एंड नेटवर्क डेज इंटरनेशनल फॉर्मूलाज दीज आर द फॉर्मूलाज विच विल हेल्प यू टू कैलकुलेट नेटवर्क डेज बिटवीन टू डेट्स दीज फॉर्मूलाज आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू एक्स इंक्लूड सम हॉलीडेज इन योर नेटवर्क डेज सो काउंट कैन बी एडजस्टेड so first of all let's create two columns for start date and end date you are going to do it me so let's type the start date in a particular column that is the y a r t r space start date date space this will be the header the y to fold vertical line to fold that is the end date space d a t date space date the y to fold vertical line to fold c1 then holiday list will be there o l i d a y फ्लोइंग ओके नाउ लेट्स क्विकली टाइप टाइप सम डेट्स स्टार्ट डेट विल बी फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुवरी सेम डेट्स यू आर गोइंग टू फॉलो सो योर आंसर विल बी फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी विल बी द स्टार्ट डेट एंड डेट विल बी योर थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च दैट इज today's date so you can edit the line left equals print p o d a y the day left right there the line to fold vertical the line to fold b3 today 31-0 b3 uh equals today c3 c2 and just type some dates in your holiday list from from these two dates means uh, you can type any Three four dates in this holiday list, uh, which are from Feb and March. So type any two three dates according to according to your choice. Okay, so I hope you have typed uh, two three dates as a sample dates. Let me type Holy day C2. it for you. Holy day with crop C. Edit the line left blank. A O L L Y D A Y holiday space L I S T list space. List. So let vertical. me add two three holidays. Edit the line two two dash zero two zero two dash two zero two three. The line default vertical. The line default C three. Edit the line left five five dash zero. Three zero three dash two zero two three. The line to fold vertical. Edit the line left zero. Eight eight dash zero three zero three dash two zero two three. Okay, this is my holiday list. Now. The line to network days overflow in D one D two. Let's count network days without holiday list. First of all, let's count network days without holiday list. So for that formula will be equals. Edit the line left equals. Network days, you know very well formula. N E T O R K D A Y S. Network days. Network days left parent. Start date. A two. 
A two comma. End date. B two. And B two right there. Close the bracket. A line to fold forty three as formula D two. So all of you uh, are aware of that there are forty three uh, working days in this uh, these two months. Now let's try to include holiday list in this formula. So we will just edit the formula. Edit the line left equals network date left parent a two comma b two right parent right parent two right parent. So let's put comma here. Comma. For passing third and optional parameter, so we have holiday list from C three, uh, sorry C two to C five, C four we have. So let's C, C two two C two colon C, C four four C four right parent. Microsoft Excel dialog with no button mode yes button mode plus Y space press okay. the details forty one as formula D two. So now the network days are 41 because there are two holidays in between and one of uh, I have typed these three dates 02-02-2023C05-03-2023C08-03-2023C4 So though these are three dates but one of the date is on weekend that's why it has reduced only two dates So now count is D4 D3 41 as formula D2 41 when you have to use this third optional parameter uh, which is holiday list so you will put comma after end date and then you will include this parameter in your formula if you have if you want to add one holiday you can add only one cell or if you uh, want to add holiday list which is there in your range so you can put that range as i have uh, put uh, from c3 C2 to C4. This was my holiday list. So let me know if uh, it works for you in the comment section. Okay, you are still getting error because of this format only. What about others? Done. Okay, what about others? If you have any problem, you can let me know. Chandramani done. Okay. Okay, I will read out the formula. Can you? I will read out the formula from my cell. Network date 41 as formula D2. So this is the for formula I will add the line left equals network day left right click. N N E T W O R K D A Y S Network days left parent A two comma B two start date and end dates and comma C holiday two, list folded C four right parent This is the uh, holiday list Align default vertical align default D3. Did you got the formula? Just let me know. Yes. Now uh, the next thing the flexible weekends means in india there is weekend on sunday 
uh, in other dates uh, there are some uh, weekends on tuesday thursday whatever the dates combinations are there so the formula which will help us to count these uh, days network days that is network days international network days international will help you to count network days between two dates when there are flexible weekends so the formula is network days dot i n t l network days dot i n t l i n t l for international then you will open bracket start date comma end date and uh, the next parameter of this uh, formula is your weekends you will have to select one option from the given option for weekends and last and optional parameter is your holiday list again so this formula accepts four arguments network days i n t l means uh, you are going to put dot over there network days dot i n t l then start date end date and next is your holiday holiday means the week weekend weekend day you have to select from the given list and last optional parameter is your holidays so let's try to calculate network days between these two dates using intl formula when sunday is the weekend 41 so these uh, options of weekends you will have to type in numbers there are number codes for uh, these options so you will put number code uh, let me show you how to do this the line equals. equals then we will type formula N E T W O R K D A Y S network days network days dot i n t l in left parent start date a 2 a 2 comma b 2 b 2 comma then next parameter is your weekend type so here are some options equals network days dot in left parent a 2 comma b 2 comma equals network days dot in left parent a 2 comma b 2 comma it is not reading so let me enable the jaws jaws will read it exit at bta to restart exit Stood. so let me enable jaws a no function called the pull is not available on the rental i s n o t i f i c Okay. So Jaws will read this for you. Whatever there. Equals network day equals. Blank. Blank. Okay. Now everything is. Blank. D3. Okay. Edit equals. Type of the formula and press enter. N N E T W O R K D A Y S. Network day period. I N. T L in left parent A two A two comma B A text A text two A two B two then B two comma one dash Saturday comma Sunday one dash Saturday comma Sunday. So press one for Saturday and Sunday we as weekends. Two dash Sunday comma Monday. If Sunday and Monday ko apko exclude karna hai, you can press two. Three dash Monday comma Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday three. 
Five dash Wednesday, comma, Thursday. Six dash Thursday, comma, Friday. Seven dash Friday, comma, Saturday. Eleven dash Sunday only. So eleven Sunday only. Twelve dash Monday only. Monday only. Thirteen dash Tuesday only. Tuesday only. Fourteen dash Wednesday only. Wednesday only. Fifteen dash Thursday only. So we want to type eleven for Sunday only. So we will type one one one. Eleven for Sunday only. And we will close the bracket. Eleven right there. Enter blank D four. And here is the count. Fifty one D three contains formula period. So there are fifty one network days between these two dates as per Sunday of holiday. Guys, just let me know the shortcut for reducing volume of jaws. No, no, I didn't use C uh, C two. Uh, shortcut key for reducing. Uh, I want to reduce volume of jaws. And uh, see uh, one thing: network days I N T L. Then two parameters as like network days, start date, end date. Third parameter you are going to type in numbers. And the numbers you can choose as per your uh, demand, like uh, Sunday only. monday only tuesday only or what are the options uh, given in that list and according to that list you can read those options and you can use them so we'll read uh, that list for you again 4151 d3 contain formula period formula also i will read again f2 and it equals network data in tl there right E E F E equals M E T W O R K D A Y S period I N T L left period A two comma B two comma one one right period left. So eleven was there after comma for Sunday having holiday or Sunday having. the last day of the week so and if you want to read that list right i will there. read it for you one what that one two that sunday comma monday three that sunday comma tuesday four that tuesday comma wednesday five that wednesday comma thursday six that thursday comma friday you are going to use this number after comma this is just helping list so you can use these numbers Seven dash Friday, comma Saturday. Eleven dash Sunday only. Twelve dash Monday only. Thirteen dash Tuesday only. Fourteen dash Wednesday only. Fifteen dash Thursday only. These are the numbers. So I will type eleven. One one one. And will eleven dash blank D four. Fifty one D three contains formula period. Network days dot i n t l. and if you want to add holiday list in this uh, formula you can put comma after your uh, holiday so let me 41 d2 contains formula period 51 d3 contains formula period so let's add holiday list in this formula f2 and it equals network data int right there so here i will put comma comma and we'll add holiday list from c c will come back to c2 c2 colon C four. This is the holiday list where I have typed already uh, two three dates, and it will minus these dates from our count. C four. Enter blank. D four. Forty nine. D three. Contains formula period. C forty nine. It is showing. Earlier it was fifty one, but two days it has excluded. It means I had typed the date of Sunday in this formula. Okay, on my PC it is not reading. Just let me know the shortcut for uh, wa reducing volume of jaws. I just want to reduce it a little bit. 
okay guys so just let me know if you are getting this formula and the logic because it has four parameters and third parameter is little bit confusing but there are some options and you are going to choose uh, your required option and you will type the option code or weekend code so just let me know so the question for you all is how many network days are there from 1st of january to 31st march when sunday is only holiday that's what you are going to tell me network days between 1st of jan to 31st march when sunday is only holiday exclude your holiday list from the formula and just let me know the results Okay, I will explain this formula again because I think uh, some of you are having confusion. Uh, Abhay sir, you have to change the start date to uh, 1st of Jan. 43 is from 1st of Feb. So, you will have to change the date and uh, I want these dates when Sunday is your only uh, holiday. So just let me know how many working days are there between 1st of Jan to 31st March when Sunday is only holiday. So let me explain this formula because it is little bit confusing. See guys, the formula is similar to network days. But third optional, uh, third parameter is compulsory because you will have to choose weekend type. In network days, we had only one weekend type where Sunday and Saturday are only uh, holidays but in international formula you will get another option where you will have to choose weekend type and there are some options your NVDA can read just you can try it when you will put comma you can try by pressing down arrow uh, so maybe it will read for you in my case it is not reading so I am using JAWS but there are some numbers, uh, means there are some codes which are assigned to these uh, options and you will have to use the required option code. And if you want to add holiday, just put comma after that code and enter your holiday list and close the bracket. And then you will be able to find the number of network days as per the criteria. Okay, 65, 65, Chandramani and Akash, uh, Siva Chandranji, we'll check, let me check, so, uh, till the time others also have to check the network days. 41, 49, 4, 49, 3, formula period. Window, and just let me reduce the volume first. Windows F2, edit equals network days, not INTL, left parent, A2, comma, B2, comma, 1, 1, comma, C2, colon, C4, right parent. Okay, I'm not able to reduce. Right parent. Four. See we got C. Colon. Two. See we got back. C. Enter. Blank. D four. 
51 D3 contains formula period. Okay, now just zero one blank B blank A3. Zero one dash zero two dash twenty twenty three A2. This date only I will have to change. And press the arrow key to move the end of data number one. Zero edit one. Zero one dash. Zero one zero one dash two zero two three. Twenty twenty three enter blank eight zero one dash zero one dash twenty twenty three eight two thirty one dash zero three dash twenty twenty three D two contain zero two dash zero two dash twenty twenty three sixty three D two contain seventy seven D three contain formula period blank D four seventy seven D three contain formula period. So seventy seven network days are there in these three months when Sunday is your only holiday. Yes, perfect, Abhay sir. You are right. Okay guys, so I hope uh, this uh, is clear to you, Network Days International Formula. Now let's move to next formula related to dates only. See, if you want to calculate days between two dates, days between two dates, so you will use days formula which is very simple days only days no work and no network only days if you have to calculate you will use this simple formula 63 D2, network days yes let me unloading uh, task quit task cancel okay button enter please wait student details done app start cursor okay i have started nvidia because jaws volume is too high and the it will disturb my volume in recording so i will reduce the volume of jaws and will use it again. So, details, dash Excel, sheet, network days overflowing d1 60 network days network so days let's use day, days formula instead of network days and the y a y s days align default vertical align default 63 as formula d d260 d263 cut cut copy copy paste skip delete dot dot clear content set student detail align default vertical days d1 d2 okay so days formula will count the days between two dates and syntax is very simple days equals days end date and start date end date and start date so just let me know by using this formula how many days are there from 1st of Ma uh, first of Jan to 31st March. Days D1, D2. You have these two dates, so just let me know. And the line left equals. But just pass the end date first. D. A. Y. S. Days. Days left parent. D. 2. This is the end date. D2, comma. And A. A 2. This is start date. A 2, right parent. A line default, vertical, a line default. D3. So just let me know the days between these two dates. No, no, no. Uh, days we have not done. Day we have done. Day formula. Which extracts the day from particular date. Days will count the days between two dates. So day and days. These are two different formulas. Day will return the day. Means serial number of day. From your date. But days will count the number of days between two dates. Okay, so it is done. So just let me know the days uh, between these two dates. Type the days.
just let me know the days between these two dates 1st of jan to 31st march just let me know the days and we will move uh, on the next formula from 1st jan to 31st march you will have to count formula is very simple equals days d a y s days bracket open end date comma start date the cell references for these respective dates and you will hit enter so you will be there yes 89 so 89 is the perfect answer other students just let me know if you are done with this formula then we will go for next formula Next formula is very interesting that is dated if dated if this formula returns the difference between two dates in terms of months, year, days, days and months, year and months, uh, the whatever the return is expected. So dated if D A T E D I F is the formula dated if well, like lots of people say it as dated if but real formula is date diff date diff is the real formula the name of the formula is date diff it is not if dated if it is not dated if it is date diff date difference it will calculate this formula accepts following arguments as uh, the input date dated if means d a t e d i f then start date comma end date comma the difference type 
difference type is your uh, means if you want difference in years months days of months or days of uh, years like this so there are few format codes of difference type i think there are uh, one two three four five five format codes this formula accepts five format codes if you want difference in years you can use y as format code if you want difference in terms of months of year will learn how to use this so you can use ym if you want difference between days of months so you will use md and month m and days d now let's use this formula for calculating this difference in the using this five format codes so let me just days d1 89 as formula d2 so this is the result of days, days d1 we will use these same two dates d1 f1 f1 okay first of all we'll use uh, we will count the difference in years at the line left e a r s years align default vertical align default g1 okay so let's type this formula and count the difference between two dates in years so let me change this date years f1 days d1 start 0 1 dash 0 1 dash 20 23 2 we'll change this date to my date of birth at the line right 0 0 dash 0 9 0 9 dash 1 this is my date of birth. Align default vertical align default 31 dash 0 3 dash 20 23 as formula B2. Okay, so I'm going to count the difference between these two dates. 0 H E 2 F 2 G 2 G 1 years F 1 G 1. Let's count the difference between these two dates in years. So for that, we'll use formula and the line left equals equals D A T E D I F date diff that is of left parent. Then end date. B two. Start date. B two comma. A two. A two comma. Return type means return uh, the code of return type in quotes. Quote. Why? Why only because we want difference in years. Why quote? Right there. The line default number the man has formula G one. It is throwing error. G2, number the man has formula G1. Okay, just let me check the uh, requirements of the formula. Yes, okay, everything is fine. Just let me. G2, number the man has formula G1. That is the line left equals that is the left parent. G2, comma, right. D A T E D I F left pair B two comma A two comma quote Y quote right pair Right there. Quote. Y. Quote. Comma. B. B. Comma. Okay, let me put. Quote. Y. Y quote. The line default number the man has formula G1. Uh, oh, okay. Here's F1. Mistake is. Start date A1. 10 0 9 19 19 9 2. 
Okay, dates are correct. Zero page G two. Number dumb bag has formula G one. Syntax is correct. Okay, start date, end date. Ah, okay, so dates are reversed. Uh, dates are to be reversed. Start date and end date. Let me change. Okay, start date should be there. First start date should be there. B two, B two comma, quote, Y, Y quote, right there, sheet book twenty three and formula G one. Ah yes, so you will have to use start date first. Here I have written by mistakely uh, the parameters are written in reverse order. Start date should be your uh, first parameter and then end date. Yeah, yeah, it is not working for me with end date. So in my system, it is not working with uh, end date first. In my system, it is working with start date first. Okay, let me read out the formula for you, uh, which is working for me. This is the result of that formula. We'll read formula for you. D A T E D I F. Left A two. Start date. Comma B two. End date. Comma. This is the formula for years. Align default vertical align default G2. Okay, next is month of years. Means 23 G2 F2. Month of year means uh, now uh, 23 years and how many months 23 years and how many months this will be the result of ym code year of month uh, sorry month of the year so we will use ym instead of y and dates will be dates will be the same uh, we will be using same dates but we are going to change the return type date diff Okay, just let me. The line to F two. So we'll. Years F one, F two. O N T H S. Months. And here I will type formula. N A A D equals D A T E D I F. And the left parent. A two, a two comma B 
two, B two, comma, close, Y, N, N, close, right parent, the line to vote, zero six dash zero one dash nineteen hundred as formula G two, twenty three as formula zero six dash zero one dash nineteen hundred as formula G two. Okay, just let me convert this into numbers because there are six months from these two dates. And number of the line left general, general select sheet four tape twenty three at six as formula G two. Six months. You can see here. Okay, so YM is the code for month of the year. Means how many months after 23 years? This question will be answered using this code YM. Rest of the formula is same. YM. So only code is changing. Now third. Third code is your day of the month. Means how many years, how many months, and how many days. So let's calculate the day. Month F two, F three, A Y. Day. A Y two six and four G three. Dates will be the same. Only code is going to change. That is M D. How many days after months? Means how many days, how many months after year, how many days after month? That's the result. Six and three, three, day of three, G three. So equals. And the line left equals D A T E D I F. Date diff. Then the left parent. Then start date. A two, a two comma. End date. B two, B two comma. Return type. Here is M D. M D. What was it? Right there. Day of the month. The line to vote twenty one dash zero one dash nineteen hundred dash formula G three. Again, we don't need to be worried. We'll change the number format. Return number format. The line left general general select G four table. The line to G four twenty one dash formula G three. See, the difference between my date of birth and today's date is twenty three years. Six months and twenty-one days. This is the difference between my date of birth and today's date. Okay, so these are the three format codes, and there are other two format codes for days and months. So those format codes are going to return the difference in only days or only months. Means how many months? So let's do this also. Formula will be the uh, formula will be same. G four, F four, day of three, F four. And the line left equals equals D A T E D I F. That is the left parent. Start date A two A two comma. End date B two B two comma. Return type close. F months. F close. Right parent. The line default two hundred eighty two as formula F four. Oh, two hundred eighty two. But let me cut uh, this no, formula. Sir. Oh, I cannot paste it. The line to F four. So here. O N T H S. Month should be the heading. The line to fold vertical. The line to fold G four. And here I should calculate the difference. And the line left equals D A T E D I F. And the left parent A two A two comma B two B two comma close F F close right parent. The line to zero eight dash ten dash nineteen hundred dash formula G four. Again, I will have to. Convert. The line with general, general sheet four, eight, two hundred eighty-two as formula G four. Two eighty-two months. The difference between my date of birth and today's date it is two eighty-two months. And let's find it in days. G 
G5, F5. Much simple, F5. N A Y S. Days. Align default, vertical align default, G5. Same formula, format code will be D only. Edit align left equals D A Y. Day. Oh no. Y A D. No day. D A D E D I F. Standard of left variant. A 2. Start date. A 2 comma. End date. D 2. D 2 comma. Return type. Quote. Will be. D. D quote. Right variant. Align default 21 dash 07 dash 1923 as formula G5. Let's convert it. And number align left general general sheet 4 table align G6 8603 as formula G5. So 8603. Yesterday it was 2. Today it is 3. So these are the date diff functions. So only difference in all these formulas is format code means the difference type is changing first of all uh, first we have checked with years then months after year and days after months in only days and in only months these are the five types. of date difference function just let me know if it is clear to you and then we will go for next formula so just me just let me know in the comment section and take two minutes and we will uh, cover two more formulas and we'll stop for today Okay, you are done. Uh, YMD altogether, uh, <clears throat> there is no such format code. You will have to concatenate these results in some cell. And uh, YM and YD, uh, see YM and uh, MD. So YM is 
month after years means how many months after 23 years it will calculate and how many days after 23 years and 6 months this uh, will be calculated using this format codes okay so let's go to next formula which is work days it's not network days it's work days see i will tell you what this formula will do for you if there is any date for example there is date of today after 10 days which will be the working day means after 10 days which will be the working day that's what this formula will tell you means this formula accepts only two argument date and number of days date and number of days after you want work days we'll discuss how it works first of all let's calculate the date after 10 working days uh, let me type this formula equals work days date B two. this is the date of today B two comma. and 10, One, zero. ten right there. A line default number name question as formula F6 okay just let me check the arguments I will check the arguments work days yes date comma number okay just let me check okay it will return next working day after f7 number name question as formula f6 and the line left equals work days left parent right left right parent zero one Two. Left. Right parent. Left parent. Okay, work days. It returns the number of whole work days between two dates so let me just check the parameters accepted by this formula oh, okay start date and end date only working days uh, okay work days and network days just let me this formula is it is auto correcting to network days w o o equals w o r k d just check this formula guys at your end if it is supporting to you work days current date and days after work day okay work day and work day okay you don't need to add s only work day work, work day 
is the name of formula i just unnecessarily added s in front of that okay so start date comma number of days uh, these are the arguments for this particular formula so start date will be your current date that is today and it will tell you how many uh, which will be the date after 10 days means which will be the working day after 10 days d2 d2 comma 1 0 10 right there the light of 45030 and 40 left. So it has written the date. Let me convert number it. Number four, the light left general. Number of currency, accounting, short date, long date, long sheet four, table, F7, table 14, 2023 and 40 left. See, 14th April will be the next working day after 10 days. Means it will exclude the holidays between these two dates. And you can add holiday list also. This is the third optional parameter. Means if there are holidays, uh, if there are, uh, there is one holiday, suppose Good Friday. And if you added that holiday in your holiday list, so your 10 days will end on 15th of April and 15th of April will be the next working day. So this formula is count, uh, so used for counting the leaves, joining date after leaves, this formula will be count. Suppose any, uh, if any person is uh, uh, applied, means he has applied for 16 days leave, leaves, 16 days emergency leaves. So what will be the next working day after 16 days? That's what this formula will tell you. HR department use, uh, uses this formula. So work day, work day is the formula. And on the same uh, site, work days INTL is also another formula which will help you to choose flexible weekend. Okay. So work day, work day and work day INTL. So work day INTL will work like network days so let's count f7 april 14 2023 and 40 f6 f7 okay so let's do it again and the line left equals when sunday is only holiday w o r a d a y work day workday intl that is workday dot intl workday dot i n t l in left parent the date b2 e b2 e e comma comma number of days one zero ten comma and eleven one one when sunday is only holiday eleven comma and we are not going to add holiday list. Right there. The light default vertical so the date will be. Again, F7. we'll convert into and date. Four, the line left gender, not perfect, short date, long date, long sheet four, tape, F8, April 12th, 2023, and formula F7. See, 12th April will be the working day after 10 days when Sunday is only holiday. Okay, just let me know if you are clear. There is no difference in these two formulas, guys. Only flexible weekend system is there in INTL formula. So I will repeat the formula again. Work day, W O R K D A Y. And first param parameter will be current date or date which you want to. Uh, use then number of days number of days and you can add holiday list if there is any holiday 
and it will add holidays and accordingly count will be changed this is the syntax of work days same day uh, same way work days i n t l will have current date number of days then third parameter is your weekend type so there are numbers and you can choose out of them and then last optional parameter will be your holiday list so that's what about these uh, dates so uh, there are other formulas which uh, we are going to cover in next lecture but today whatever we covered we have covered days days formula which as accepts two arguments and which will uh, count the days between two dates so start date and end date will be the parameters again we have done with network days using holidays network days using holidays as third optional parameters and we have done with network days i n t l with holidays and with flexible weekends so de network days and uh, network days i n t l has same syntax network days i n t l start date comma end date comma the next parameter is your weekend type which you can select uh, from the given list and accordingly you will type the number and next last optional parameter is your holiday list so that's what about network days intl and it will count the network days in two dates then next we have done with work day and work day intl same formulas but work day and work day intl will have only one date and it will count the difference uh, uh, it will uh, return the next working day after uh, the number of days which will be entered by you and these two formulas are also supported by third optional parameter as a holiday list you can add a holiday list and accordingly your count will be adjusted so that's what from today's lecture uh, let's meet on monday and we'll learn some new concepts in the advanced excel Ops. Stop recording. 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 Stop rec